Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about patch 9.2 and more specifically we're going to talk about minor changes coming in patch 9.2 that you can be excited for. Now there isn't a ton of changes compared to previous patches but there is some changes and some of them are kind of cool. But guys before we jump into the list I just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash GM. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft patch 9.2, 10.0 alpha beta over on twitch.tv slash GM every single day. Okay so minor changes. These are always my favorite videos to make actually. I make these every single patch and I have done a video covering all of the major changes and all of the major features of patch 9.2 so if you want to check that out there is a link in the description below this video or in the top right of the video right now but in this video we're going to go over minor changes actually compared to previous patches there's actually a lot less minor changes uh, than before but there are some cool ones that you might actually notice when you launch the patch on February 22nd. Okay, so let's begin. First and foremost, this is probably the biggest one. This was kind of a major change, I guess, but we're putting in the minor changes. Uh, this is actually a brand new druid travel form. This is the cheetah form. So the one uh, previous was what, all the way back from vanilla and they're finally giving it an HD update in patch 9.2 and it looks absolutely incredible actually. They've done a really good job with this travel form. Now this isn't, you don't have to go and acquire this. You don't have to get a glyph or anything like that. This is literally just a travel form update. So the previous cheetah is gone as of patch 9.2 unfortunately. Uh, they might add it back as a glyph or something like that but right now uh, as of the PTR and as of 9.2 this is the brand new form for the cheetah. Uh, it keeps all of the previous animations so you don't need to worry too much about that but the look of it is a lot more HD, a lot cooler and a great looking model in in my opinion. So yeah new druid travel form coming in patch 9.2 uh, for the cheetah. Staying with classes now uh, the warlock is actually getting an update as well they're getting a brand new incubus which is a male version of a succubus. Now this is pretty easy to obtain again. It looks like Blizzard did have some kind of ideas on how to obtain this originally but now it looks like they're literally just going to make it so you have to go to your trainer in Ogrima or Stormwind. You just have to talk to your trainer and you can either have it as a random summons. Every time you summon the succubus it will be an incubus or a succubus or you can have one specific. So if you just want an incubus you can do that or if you just want a succubus that is something you can do. And as I mentioned those trainers are located in Stormwind and Ogrima. It doesn't look like you do it any other trainers which is really interesting. Uh, so those are the two main ones you have to go for the Horde and Alliance to obtain your Incubus. Uh, another one for shamans. This is uh, two new forms for the ghost wolf uh, shamans will be getting, or shamans, depending on how you say it. But uh, yeah, shamans will be getting two brand new forms in patch 9.2. You have the spectral lupine, which is a brand new model from Xerath Mortis. This is obtained through Xerath Mortis reputation. And then you have the glyph of the spectral vulpine. Now this is obviously the model of the vulpine familiar, which is the storm mount, or the creature from Ardenwield that shares the same name. Now it says here on the tooltip that it's obtained through night fake callings. So yeah, and this is obviously created by inscribers uh, as with the lupine one. So yeah, that looks like it's uh, obtainable through Night Fae Callings, potentially. It doesn't really say anything on Wowhead though, so we're not too sure on that one, but I'm gonna go with Night Fae Callings, but I might be wrong. There is actually some brand new customization options coming for the male Night Elf model. So what Blizzard have done is they've added three brand new faces, uh, which are essentially just the non-scowl versions of previous faces that we had before. So as you can see, you have a scowl version and then a non-scowl version. And as I said, there are three versions of those to choose from uh, when patch 9.2 hits. So if you're a Night Elf player, you can rejoice at your brand new faces. Another minor change coming in patch 9.2 is that now on the group finder when finding arena groups, you can now see their party specialization in the mouse over tooltip. So, so say if you mouse over, it will say hunter and beast mastery hunter as well, which is actually pretty handy. So yeah, that's a little minor change there. The next change is for PVE. This is for mythic plus rating. So when you link it in the chat, it will now show the player's highest rating from previous seasons, as well as the current season, which I think is a great change. Seems really cool. Just a minor change there for mythic plus rating when linking it in the chat if that's something that you do. Uh, another one is that gold, silver, and copper icons have been adjusted to have more contrast from each other and the background. So they actually did change these, I think in Shadowlands, I think in 9.0, the icons were updated and now it looks like they're getting another update in regards to the contrast from each other. So yeah, that's a little minor change there. It's pretty hard to notice, honestly. You can kind of notice it when it's side by side, but, but yeah, in general, you're probably not gonna pick up on that instantly. Another fun change, which is actually probably gonna take you by surprise 
those if you don't know about it, is that the Mechagon Peacekeeper, the Rusty Mechano Crawler, and the Scrap Forge Mecho Strider are actually going to be able to fly in patch 9.2. So they have a brand new flying animation that looks great in all honesty. This was added just because there's another model that uses a similar rigging which does fly in 9.2. So I assume they just went, you know what, <laughs> let's make them all fly. Which is actually really cool and I actually love the flying animation on these mounts. I think they should have always flown but... There you go, the uh, the Peacekeeper, the Mechano Crawler, and the Mecha Spider will be flying in 9.2. And obviously in Seraph Mortis, you'll be able to fly. So that's even better. So you can fly around on these mounts uh, that you would have obtained from Mechagon. Another minor change is that toys that change your weapon's appearance now correctly show the original enchant or the illusion enchant on the new weapon. So if you have, I don't know, like an enchant on your weapon and you put on a toy that changes the weapon model, it will now display that enchant on the weapon. Pretty minor change, uh, but there you go. Just something that they've added uh, to the game there. Another one which I think people are going to rejoice about, and there has actually been a lot of of happiness about this one is that Covenant Hearthstone locations will change when you change your Covenant. So for example, if your Hearthstone location is in Sinful and you change to Necrolord, uh, it'll actually swap the Hearthstone location to the Seat of the Primus. So when you Hearthstone, you'll get dragged back into Sinful as your previous Hearthstone location. So yeah, that just swaps around uh, now when changing Covenant, which is super handy, super helpful. And uh, yeah, just another minor change that is uh, just a great addition to the game, honestly. Our next minor change is more of kind of a major change, but it kind of comes under minor as well. They're actually adding a bunch of optional buffs to profession gear. So these are brand new items that they've added in patch 9.2 to enhance crafted gear. There's things like run speed and mount speed, things that damage, things that heal. It's all pretty nuts. Uh, I tested this a lot on the PTR and they actually do stack. So you can make a pretty great run speed slash mount speed set from crafted gear because they're not unique or anything like that. You can literally just put them on every single item if you want. And as I mentioned, it does stack. And some of the damaging ones are pretty good as well. I would imagine they're going to be nerfed to the ground, but obviously with the new crafter's mark, some of these items are going to be pretty wild with some of the buffs that you can add to them. Uh, so this is something that's just unlocked through Zeref Mortis, and as I said, it can be added to any crafted piece uh, in the Shadowlands. Obviously not legendaries, but you know what I mean. It's uh, pretty wild and pretty cool, and definitely worth checking out uh, once you get into patch 9.2. And finally, another minor change to the quest log. The quest log now displays a clock icon next to the quests that have time remaining. So things like callings and, and quests like that will now have a clock icon next to them telling you that it's a time limited quest that is going away in a certain amount of time. There you go, just a minor change there and a bunch of minor changes. So guys, that is 12 minor changes coming in patch 9.2. As I said, not the craziest list in the world. If you know any other minor changes, do let me know down in the comment section below and let me know what you think of these changes. As I said, some of them are super minor, some of them are kind of major-ish, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, patch 9.2, 10.0 alpha beta, any other World of Warcraft content, guys, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.